My name is Carlos Yanez and I'm majoring in Transborder and Justice Studies. I was six years old, so uh, I do remember some stuff, but some stuff is still really hazy, like a, like a blurry picture because you don't know like what you like romanticized in your head and what's actually real. But I do know like I had my Scooby-Doo backpack because I still have it. Um, and that's like the thing that I remember from, from that day. Like I had it on my back and someone had to check it and someone took it from me. When I was six, um, it didn't feel like I was coming into a new country. It just felt like we were going on a long car ride and we were gonna see my dad at the end. That was when I started um, piecing together that my status would one day like affect me in a bigger way. A few months ago, I had applied to the Dream.us scholarship. I did end up getting it, and I was really, really happy because that was a full ride to ASU. So I'm really, really proud and happy that I was able to, to come here and stay here and do my education here. My first semester didn't feel uh, homey to me uh, just because I didn't really know anyone and it was really hard to get connected. And it wasn't until later next semester where I learned about Dream Zone and UC and I met actual undocumented people on campus. Dream Zone is um, an initiative that was started by graduate students and we mostly like do uh, work with the different departments at ASU. We love talking to, to other people. I love talking to other undocumented students just so they know that they're not alone and it also helps me to meet more people because it helps me feel not alone. I know a lot of people have not met an undocumented student and they have no idea like what they look like or how they are. We need role models, we need undocumented people like as lawyers, as doctors, as people who have gone through this situation so future undocumented people know that they can do it and that they don't, don't lose hope because we need role models.